Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Let's Invest Right. My name is Farooq. I'm Essen. In this series, we will be discussing about the seven key fundamentals necessary for making your right investment decisions. The first one, the most important one, historical prices. So Essen, while making, it's, 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 it's a big question, you know, when you are making a investment decision, especially in stocks. So it's all about prices, you know? So what do we talk about when we talk about prices? How does historical prices uh, makes one? See, historical price is very important. Very important in several ways. It gives you a direction. If you see, if you're buying any stock, you don't know is 400 a good price, 200 a good price, or $100 is a good price. You don't know. How you would get to know? There are several ways. One of the ways, I believe, is by looking at the historical price. For example, if you're buying a stock of $100 and you're expecting 100% return, just assume. So you'll not, but the price of the stock has never reached $200. Will it reach? It's a question mark. There are many other factors that impact. Historical price, uh, this one point. The other point would be the historical price gives you a direction. See, the stock price would go either upward or downward. Historical price would give you a direction, uh, whether it's going up or down. So what is that time frame? in which we should see the historical price, like a monthly basis, month on month basis, year on year basis. How would it give us a correct view? See, the fundamental of this, there's no specific time. For example, if you're looking like right now, I'm looking for a long term investment, for example. For long term investment, I'll be looking at the longer range. For so say, if I'm investing in Apple, if I see the one year trend of this, it's going upward. If I see another stock, if it's going downward, Will I be investing in, in stock that's going down? I believe no. If it's going up, then yes. That's in stock price. One more thing here: the stock price, the stock price, and the historical data of the price gives you an indication whether the stock is cheap or or expensive. For example, if it's at the highest peak, will you buy it? Uh, there are other things that you need to consider, right? If it's lowest, you need to. So at times we have seen like it looks like you know it's going. It's an upward trend. But it's very difficult to make a decision at that time. So how do we decide? Like, uh, is, is suppose if a price is going up, we talk about over here Apple. Apple right, as of now is today four twenty dollars per share. Yeah. Uh, let's suppose it's in four twenty dollar, and it's the highest point till now. Correct. So why today it's the highest value of that stock? Shall I go to invest? Uh, shall I make a decision to buy that stock? Or shall I wait for the correction, or is it the time to correct? Is it the time that it's gonna change the see, direction? I answer your question in a way because you need to see your fundamentals. What is your objective of the investment, right? If you are investing for one week, which is not what I recommend, I invest. I'll, I'll invest for the long term. I'll recommend investing in the long term, right? So if you are investing for the long term, I'll suggest there's no time. Like you can invest now if the, if the market is going up, if the if the stock is going up, right? If you talk about Apple 425 right now, it's at the price and it's the peak. But if you see the trend of the last year, it's been going at the upper direction and continuously it's going up. Investors believe that the Apple has more potential and it's going further up and up and there's no one stopping it, right? So if you buy it now, imagine if you had uh, one, one year back, it was already at a high price, right? If people were saying that Apple was already at a high price, if they had invested, they would have been like... Uh, so fundamentally... If you believe in that company, uh, in that stock, and you you feel that its products or the services which that company is offering you, it has a potential, and it's it's following other fundamentals as well. So you can go ahead. Exactly. So when we talk about the uh, when we talk about you know the market timing, if we talk about market timing versus time in the market, yeah. how do you see that concept? Uh, well, uh, there are some people who don't know these terms, I believe. Uh, I think it would be good if you can explain those terms. Uh, so the market not... timing, when we say uh, it, it's best to buy when the stock is trading at lowest price and uh, to sell your uh, stock or realize your profits once it's trading at the highest point. That's what I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. No. Uh, is it, is yeah. it the same, right? And. Uh, Time in the market is, what's the tenure of your investment? What's your objective of your investment? Is it like a year investment or you are a day trader, you just want to buy today and sell it tomorrow and realize your 
uh, and realize the capital gain. It, uh, that's what I understand. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll just add another word here, just a line here actually. So market timing is the basic concept of stock trading is to buy at a low price and sell it at high price, right? Market timing basically defines whether the price is low or high. So you cannot define whether a particular stock is at a low price right now or at a high price right now. It's nobody can define. It. Nobody can. There's no. There's no down. Right? If you talk about like even if you see Hertz a couple of months back when it was like announced bankrupt, the stock price reached 0 0.4, like 40 cents. Would you buy it? No. It's it's at the lowest price ever ever in the history. But that is the that is the point where people makes money. People who believe in the fundamentals, if they are following the fundamentals, then they would agree that this particular company has a lot of potential See, to go up and they'll take a decision. Potential? You don't know whether Hertz will survive in two months or three months, right? Exactly. Because an exactly. bankrupt. Come on. You'll not be investing in something unless you don't have like uh, you have money to waste, right? You don't know. These are not the this is not the ideal investment that we talk about. True. True. So that's yeah. that's correct. That's correct. Uh, there is one more point, you know. Okay, we have seen the historical prices. We agreed that, you know, we will purchase this stock. Or, uh, of course, it's very important to have objectives before exactly. making. Exactly. Like, okay, I'm going to make 10%, 25%, 30% into one, into two of my investment. I'll double my money, whatever is your objective. You know, maybe in one year, two years, three years, Absolutely. or day trade. I have seen it personally, like when I'm making investment, it's really difficult, uh, difficult scenario to realize that, you know, if the if the price is going upward as per the historical trend, to take that decision to close your trade and realize your profit is really difficult. You always want more and more and more. So, so what is the concept of realiz realizing your profit as per your targets? Do you need to revise it uh, based on? See your targets. First of all, you have to identify what's your plan, what's your strategy for the investment. Are you like making a short term or a long term? If long term, how much is the time, right? One year, three years, five years? And years. you follow that. And you follow that. You stuck to your principle. Unless there is a, uh, a situation that you did not like plan, obviously, then obviously things would change. Your plan, your strategy needs to be revised. But overall, your strategy has to be, you have to stick to your target, you have to define your targets, your goals, take the risk, Whatever you want to, you should define your risk as well, and then take the take the actions, take accordingly, and then wait. wait. To conclude this fundamental, where we are going to see the historical prices, the historical trend, and our, make our decision accordingly, it's very important to have proper objectives written down somewhere that I'm going to purchase this stock at this particular price because it is having an upward trend, and I will be realizing my profit based on my personal or your personal investment strategy it or your tenure what you have decided it may be a day trade it may be a year or two years or three years whatever it is but it is very important to have proper objectives and realize your profits accordingly because because profit is what you have realized if you do not realize at times you will see green and again after a couple of months it might go back to red due to any reasons as we have seen in this pandemic so many times you know it's cyclical but, but to conclude, when we see historical, uh, historical data or historical pricing, it will give us an indication about the trend of that uh, particular stock. Yes, just to end this conversation, I'll just say it's one of the key fundamentals, not the key fundamental. Sure. Okay. So thank you very much for joining us and stay tuned with our channel and we'll be discussing a few more fundamentals. Thank you very much. Oh, my God.